Hi, Mike Gibson, Roxana Marin, coming to you live from Sky 2017. Roxana, one of the most important trials presented here at Sky is the diversity trial. Talk to us a little bit about that. You were the co-PI of the study. Well, first of all, uh, thank you, Mike. It's always great to, to have you here, and you bring so much goodness to this, to this program. The diversity trial that was presented today by uh, Wayne Batchelor, who's the PI with mm -hmm. me, uh, is a trial that we actually presented for the first time of the primary endpoint of the study in, in uh, at TCT this, right. this last year. Right. And uh, the trial is very interesting, uh, as you know, uh, that most of these STEM studies have about 20 to 25 percent women, and really the minority African American population or uh, Alaskan or American Indians are just almost unheard of, really, really, really small, hand. yeah, really, yeah. really small, or Asian population, et cetera. So we sought to evaluate uh, the um, outcomes in minorities and women. Mm -hmm. And so the only thing you had to do to get into this trial is to have a, have a, a coronary disease that needed to be stented, agree to have a, a, a stent in and have for the follow-up, and that you identified yourself as a woman or uh, an African American, Latina, uh, uh, American Indian, or Alaskan. So no white men. Yeah, we excluded. All white men were excluded. White men excluded. Now white women could they be in? White women were in there, and they that's what's in. really ex interesting. So you data. could compare white women versus uh, women so, of color in, a, in the other yeah. ethnicities. So, t so today's first finding that was explored today for the first time was the evaluation of. Uh, minorities versus the white men, women versus white men, just mm -hmm. women in general, mm -hmm. but then very importantly is minority women versus white men. Right. So that was the three groups that sort of got evaluated mm -hmm. versus the, the white male population. The white male population came from the registry of 2,500 patients that were part of the uh, the PROMIS, Platinum PROMIS um, registry. Right. Right. The diversity trial was a whole separate trial. A that trial. only, yeah, that 1,500, 1500 patients were uh, included there that were only, uh, you know, minority okay. or women. And what did you find? Unbelievable. You want to hear? Yeah. So there was unadjusted, the death rates, death and MI, MACE rates were unadjusted were much worse for women, whether they were white or not, and for minority women, and for minorities in general, hmm. compared to the white men. So all along, every, all of the outcomes were, were worse. But when you adjust it for baseline differences, the, the difference was statistically significantly worse for death and death and MI and myocardial infarction alone, all hmm. of these, hmm. for minority women. Hmm. And were these Compared MIs in the stented segment? Was there something going on with the stent? Or were they in the non-stented yeah, segment, well, so, which is something going on with the risk of the patient? Yeah, so this is, the, this is a really, really good uh, question. I think, to me, this is the first call to action to really explore these kinds of issues. Is it mm -hmm. because they don't have money to get their medication? Right. Are they actually being, what about their other risk factors? Is right. it about the stent? Is it the non-stent? Right. What is it about these women? Right. Is it because, and in fact, there's another analysis that's going to come out very, very shortly. We're going to present that. There's a very important socioeconomic income Mm -hmm. association mm -hmm. as well, mm -hmm. you can imagine sure. what that's going to look like. And so there is a very, very complex interplay, and to me, this is a huge call to action, especially in this day and age where we are seeing cuts right. pretty much Across for that board. patient population completely, and we so really need to pay attention So you guys taken a peek at? I mean, do you know? I mean, was it the culprit vessel, non-culprit vessel? We think that it was mostly culprit vessel, but... Hmm. It, it's there are some outside and culprit vessel, but we haven't done that analysis. And completely. any excess stent thrombosis? To yeah, hit, yeah, more stent thrombosis. More stent thrombosis. More, yeah, mm. so it's Boy, that's so a very lot upsetting. of. Yeah. Uh, it's upsetting, yeah. and and it's 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 correcting for all the baseline differences. So to me, this is a really really important thing. And again, these kinds of studies, I think, fit right into the into the venue of what we're trying to do right. with. With, with WIN, as you know, yeah. Women in Innovation, yeah. Yeah. and just really improving and increasing the diversity of our patient population, our physicians, our inclusion of women and minorities in clinical trials. These are all incredibly important to become part of the 
10 years ago, I was at the first Women's and Innovation meeting. There were, I think, about 10 women. I know. And now, last, last night, night, I was your guest of honor. There are about 100 women. So no, no. you guys was, have really all, grown. It was yeah. wonderful to have you there. As you know, we had, uh, it was called Win Day yesterday, where we started uh, with a win committee that everyone is welcome to join, including all the men who want to be, who are Sky members. Because mm -hmm. I think this is a really important initiative. It's not just about women in interventional cardiology. It's about women in clinical trials. It's about education. It's about research. It's about so many different, different things. So people could get involved at all different levels. But then, then after that, we had a lunch session where these incredible women presented the most complex, it was called complex interventions, the most complex structural, peripheral, coronary cases. Um, you know, I was, I was like, wow, you know, and these are young, up and coming women in interventional cardiology. We, there's a crack in the ceiling. I see it, mm -hmm. it's gonna be broken soon, and mm -hmm. I think it's up to us to continue to, to grow this, you know, next generation of interventional cardiologists that could be men and women. I think it's, it's equally important to have the younger people. And then last night, with you being there and, and having that kind of an important conversation of what the difficult issues are in our workplace uh, as women in interventional cardiology was incredibly important. So yeah. thank you for being there. Well, I, I felt the energy in the room last night. Oh, yes. You know? <laughs> And the ceiling was cracking. Yeah, it was uh, cracking is all right. Yes. It's, it's about to mm -hmm. blow. Yeah. Uh, but it was good to see. And, you know, um, what was fascinating for me, again, was to see how this has really grown under your stewardship from 10 years ago oh, till okay. now. And uh, it's it's really not just the number of people, but the engagement of the, all the individuals 100%. in that room. And they were very, I mean, they were... Yeah. Yeah, locked and loaded. They were all very highly focused on this, so it was 100%. great to see. No, it was yeah. wonderful, and thank yeah. you so much. Oh, no, thank yeah. you. Well, Roxana, thank you on behalf of all women yeah. and, and men. And, and, and men. <laughs> uh, thank you for spearheading the win effort, oh, and it's you. been a real winner, oh, so to speak. Oh, thank you. Thank so, you. And thanks to all of you for joining us here live from Sky 2017.